sex with a for action investigation. A 31 year old woman who admits to having sex with a 13 year old boy and then becoming pregnant with his child won't face any jail time under a plea deal with prosecutors. Love it. What up, though, YouTube family? Welcome back again. It's your boy Joe. Quickly, before we get started, if you like the content, please like, subscribe. If you love the content, please drop some in the cash app at the end before we get started. Like, this crazy, y'all. This is crazy. You, you, you got to see this for yourself. I, I don't even want to talk about it. I just want y'all to see it for yourself. Call for action. Investigative reporter Matt Kroschel is joining us live tonight. Matt, 31-year-old Andrea Serrano was facing sexual assault charges, but accepted this new plea deal to stay out of prison. Adam Serrano gave birth to a baby boy. She admitted to having sex with that 13-year-old. What the hell are y'all doing, Colorado? I thought y'all was a conservative state. And I thought conservatives were very, very anti-groomer. And I thought a 31-year-old sleeping with a 13-year-old and having a baby bomb was kind of the definition of grooming. So I really don't understand how the district attorney out there could just let this woman walk and force this child to co-parent with his abuser. Like, what? Like, you were gonna make me share custody of my child with the person that raped me? What? That is, that's not only, like, crazy offensive, it's abusive to that child. Like, why would you ever put a child in that predicament? It, it doesn't make sense to me. So, please, in the comments, y'all, I really, really want to get this conversation started. So, please, if you got any type of feelings about this subject, let me know now in the comments. We'll kick it about it, man. Let's finish this off. The victim's mother, who we're not going to identify in this story, tells us she is not happy with this deal offered to a woman she says ruined her son's life. I feel like my son's robbed of his childhood. Now he's having to be a father. He, he's a victim, and he's going to have to live with that for the rest of his life. This mother says watching her son struggle with the reality he now faces breaks her heart. What has this been like for your son? Um, it's caused him a lot of depression. He's um, shut down a lot. Now she questions why this woman won't face prison time. Uh, I feel like if she was a man and he was a little girl, it would definitely be different. They would be seeking incarceration. And I feel like because she's a woman, they're not. They're having compassion for her because she was pregnant. But I don't think they take into play again. She was pregnant by a child. You know, that child was created from a sexual abuse. Under terms of the plea deal the suspect signed off on, she'll be required to register as a sex offender, and the judge could sentence her to 10 years to life of sex offender intensive supervised probation. But Serrano will avoid any jail time since the DA's office dropped the original charges to a lesser charge that does not come with mandatory jail time. What should other parents be looking for? <laughs> Don't trust anybody, honestly. I mean, you can't trust anybody now. The victim's family says they are looking for the next steps in this case, and they'll actually ask the courts to give custody to the 13-year-old of this baby. Adam and Lindsay, what we do know is that Serrano has a uh, hearing coming up in May where she will learn how much probation time she'll have. Currently, Serrano has full custody of the baby. Back to you. Okay. And stop the fucking cap, dog. Get the fuck out of here, man. It's no way. It's no way. It's no way in hell that if we was talking about a 31-year-old man sleeping with any 13-year-old, male or female, don't matter. If we're talking about a 31-year-old man doing something like this, it wouldn't be a discussion. Society as a whole would be like, yeah, put him in jail. He need to be locked up. You know, we can't trust him out here. We can't trust her out here. We can't trust that woman around none of our children. Period. She's proven herself to be untrustworthy around children. Why would you let her stay out here? That's crazy. Something got to be done. We got to put pressure on this DA, y'all. We got to put pressure on this DA, man. This can't be it. We can't let this sit like that. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for coming in. 
I like to appreciate all my subscribers. We almost at 100 subscribers in under 45 days. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate all the views, every like, every comment. Keep them coming. And I got more coming for y'all. Peace.